Hi, this is Daniel at PCC. In this video, we're reviewing Pocket PCC. With Pocket PCC, you can use any web browser or mobile device to review your schedule, your patient's chart, and add files, phone notes, and portal messages. We're assuming here that your PCC EHR account already has the Pocket PCC permission turned on. If not, talk with your user administrator about getting access. To access Pocket PCC, we'll first need to set up a security question. The security question is used when logging in for the first time on any device. Open My Account in the File menu. Here, I'll select a question from this drop-down menu, then enter my answer to that question in the text box below. We'll see both of these in a minute. With that done, I can log into Pocket PCC on my phone or in a browser window. I'm using this small browser window for my example today. I'll enter my username and password. And there's the security question we just set up. The next time I log in using this browser or phone, I won't need to enter it again. I will be asked to enter it again every two months or if I log in from a new or different device. And here we are. Pocket PCC automatically opens the schedule for today's date. But I can move forward and backwards through days with the arrows. Or with this calendar, I can jump directly to a date. I can also view someone else's schedule by selecting another provider on this menu. When I click on an appointment, Pocket PCC opens up the medical summary for this patient. As I scroll through the medical summary, I can filter out resolved, inactive, or active items by clicking the gear icon. From this menu in the upper right, I can jump to other information about this patient. For example, demographics and visit history. Here in visit history, we can see all the patient's visits. If I click on one, I can open that visit. And by clicking this pencil icon, I can edit the visit. I can record vitals and I can make notes. When I'm done, I'll click save and exit at the bottom. Everything I just added will appear in PCC EHR. I can also view the immunization history and the patient's documents. And we've got the option to attach a photo or PDF file directly from my computer or phone. I can click here to attach a document and click the pencil to add a title, move to a category, or attach this document to a visit, or create a task. All the same options that are available in PCC EHR. Add phone note. Again, the options here are the same as PCC EHR. And finally, I can add a portal message to send a message directly to the portal account associated with this patient. If I'm looking for a patient outside of a scheduled appointment, I can search for a patient under this menu in the upper left. Find Patient opens a search box. And much like PCC EHR's search box, it includes a list of previously opened patients, so you can quickly return to a patient you've looked at recently. I can search here by name or PCC number. Messaging opens the messaging queue, where I can review messages, add phone notes, and create tasks related to any message. Likewise, the signing queue, I can review and sign all signable items, just like in PCC EHR, all from my phone or web browser. That's just a general overview of what's available in Pocket PCC. But for more detail on Pocket PCC or any other charting tool or feature, visit learn.pcc.com or contact PCC support. Thanks for watching.